Today I've got a super quick thrift flip hack for you. We are gonna turn an oversized men's button up shirt into a cute blouse. This is going to be super easy and it's gonna take no time at all. So come on, let's do it. Even if you're not doing this project right now, follow along because you're going to learn some things today. Seriously, you're gonna wanna watch this to the end because look at how cute this turned out. You're going to learn how to add a casing to anything and we're also gonna go over hemming the sleeves on the shirt. So today I'm going to be using the dress form so that way you can see the demo really well, but you should definitely put the shirt on yourself, grab your chalk and go over to the mirror because we are gonna mark right where the waist is. And if you don't know where your natural waist is, take a piece of elastic and wrap it around your waist and tie it in a knot and where it slips up and sits real comfy is where your waist is. So in the dress form, I can feel through it and feel where the twill tape is for the waist. So I am going to be marking where the waist is on the dress form. And I'm going to work my way all the way around. And you really just need to do this to half of it because we're gonna end up folding it in half so that way it ends up symmetrical. So you really just need to chalk out about half of it. Half of the front and half of the back. That feels like my back there. Okay, so we've got the waist chalked out for the back and we have the waist chalked out here for the front. So you can see my line was a little crooked here, so we are going to straighten it out with the ruler. And now that I know where my waist is on the shirt, I actually wanna measure down another three inches because we need room for a casing and we want a little bit of a blouse effect. So I'm leaving two inches for a blouse effect and one inch for a casing. You could also leave a bigger casing really depends on the width of your elastic. I'm also going to even out my line on the back and chalk this out, so that way I cut a nice straight line. So we're gonna mark our waistline first, and then I'm gonna go down three inches. And now I know where my waist is and where I need to cut. So now I'm going to cut on my bottom line, so at the bottom of the three inches here. And I'm just gonna work my way all the way around the shirt. And there we go, chopped off. We chopped off the bottom of the shirt, we got rid of that stain over here and the frayed hem down here. That's what I love about knowing how to sew and thrifting. You can find something that's really cheap, the shirt was like two bucks, and we can transform it and make it into something cute. You just gotta look for those pieces that have potential. Okay, let's get into sewing this together now. The first thing we're gonna do is sew down the placket to itself. So just through the front layer, we're gonna sew the placket together at the bottom, and we're gonna sew the placket together all the way up to that waistline. So that way when we're making our casing, this isn't gonna be flapping around, it'll be nice and secure. So I have my machine set up to a straight stitch and we're gonna sew the bottom of the placket first. Make sure you're back stitching. I'm gonna stitch right in the existing stitch on the front of the placket, so I need to make sure I'm stopping in it. Needle in, foot up, and turn. And now we're going to sew up to the waist. When you get to that waistline, add a few back stitches and cut. Now that I have the bottom of that placket sewn down, it's time to finish the hem. What I'm gonna do is serge my edge to finish it off, but you could zigzag it or overcast it. You could even bias bind it and get real fancy. And before I finish the edge, I'm also going to seam rip off this button. Because it's going to be folded down to the inside in the casing, we just don't need it there. So we are going to get rid of that button. There we go. Time to serge it up. All surged up. Now that I have my edges finished, we are going to create a casing. So I have my shirt inside out and I'm going to fold it up one inch and iron it down. And this is gonna make it so much easier when we're sewing. Now you could make your casing any width depending on your elastic. My elastic is gonna be three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to create a one inch casing. And I love using a seam gauge just to double check as I'm moving along to make sure it's still one inch. 
Make sure you're putting your shirt on the end of the ironing board so it's nice and easy to rotate and turn around as you're ironing. Okay, all done ironing. Now we've got our shirt all prepped and it's time to get into some elastic. Now what we need to do is sew down that casing that we ironed and I'm going to start at a side seam so that way when I see my overlap stitches, it'll be here at the side. So I'm going to stitch right in the middle of the serge all the way around the hem of my shirt, but I'm going to leave a one inch opening so that way I can go back and get my elastic in there. And you're probably wondering, how much elastic do I need to cut? Well, it depends how fitted you want the shirt to be on the bottom of you. So I took some elastic and I just wrapped it around my waist, made it nice and comfortable, not too tight, and then I cut it. So I would make it the same size as your waist or an inch bigger. So let's go sew that casing down. So when I'm sewing my casing, I'm gonna be stitching in the middle of the serge so that way I have this room here for the elastic to fit in. Don't forget to back stitch. So I'm back where I started, I'm going to leave a one inch opening. So I'm going to add a few back stitches and cut. So we have our casing sewn down on the front and the back. It's looking great and it's ready for some elastic. So grab your elastic and a safety pin and let's put this elastic in. So I'm gonna put the elastic on the safety pin, so down, back up, so that way it is nice and secure on here. So we've got the elastic on the safety pin. And now we're going to put it in our casing. So find the little opening you left. Just start pushing and pulling your fabric onto the elastic. And we're gonna work our way all the way around the hem. And remember, your elastic is smaller than the casing. So don't lose your elastic in here. Now we have the elastic all the way through the casing. So now what we need to do is remove the safety pin. We are going to overlap our elastic and we're just gonna sew it together. We're gonna sew the two pieces together. So overlap it about a half inch, head over to the sewing machine and just stitch these two together, back and forth, back and forth. So I have my straight stitch selected and I'm going to sew these two pieces of elastic together, back and forth, back and forth. Nice and secure and cut. Now that we have our elastic sewn together, we can just go ahead and pull it and it's gonna go into the casing. Woo, look at that. It is nice and gathered up on the bottom. So now that we have the elastic in the casing, we just need to sew down the opening here. So we're just going to pull it flat and just continue stitching right where we left off on both ends to sew that up. So we wanna start where we left off on the stitching line. So I'm gonna take my hand wheel I'm gonna pull my needle right down into the stitch. So that way I know I'm starting in the right spot. Couple stitches forward, couple stitches backwards. Continue all the way down until you get to the stitch that's already there. I'm gonna go a few stitches in, back stitch and cut. And now our hole that we had is sewn up. The elastic casing on the hem looks awesome. I cannot wait to try this on. But before we do that, we need to hem the sleeves. You could totally leave the sleeves, but they're a little bit long for my taste and I really wanna give this shirt a transformation. So I wanna make my sleeve three inches shorter. So I'm going to use my quilting ruler and my rotary cutter and I'm gonna cut off two inches and that leaves me one inch for creating a rolled hem. So to hem this, I'm going to be rolling it over a half inch, another half inch, and then stitching down at the very edge here on the left using an edge stitch, which means stitching super close to the edge. The hem looks great, and now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Looking so much better with the shorter sleeves and I am just loving this elastic gathered casing at the bottom. And now it's time to try it on. And it fits great, check it out. I love the transformation of the shirt and it was so easy to do. 
We added that elastic casing on the bottom, giving it more of a blouse style. And we shortened the sleeves just to update the style a little bit, make it a little lighter. We turned a stained button up shirt into a really cute blouse. And now I think it's gonna be one of my go-tos. Seriously though, do you remember what this looked like before? It is so much cuter now. And it was only $2, can you believe it? So if you guys like thrifting, I would love to know if you have any thrift flips that you would like to see. Let me know, leave it down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching Soey Anastasia today. I hope you had fun learning how to transform a button up shirt into a cuter looking blouse. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below. And I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And if you have any tips or pointers, leave those down below too. And don't forget to subscribe to Soey Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new tutorials come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, I teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois, and we also teach things virtually as well. So check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. And don't forget to add me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the socials, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.